All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. And today we're taking a look at the Princess Connect Redive 12 3 versus rank 11 6. Uh, since we got uh, literally like four brand new uh, ranks for us to go through, we have rank 11 6 was added and then 12 3 was also added. Um, so there's a lot of ranks to go through. Um, I have three different separate guides pulled up here. This one is made by Chocolate. I will leave a link to every single one of these guides down in my description box. Make sure you go ahead and check that out. This one's made by Chocolate. This one is made by user the Great Raikami. And this one is made by Miss Niara. So let's go ahead and jump in. I have the first one here. Most part, they're going to be almost the exact same. Um, I don't really see any differences. Maybe this one might be a little bit different, but they all give you kind of different ways to look at your rank chart, chart guides. This one is really colorful and it tells you multiple things that you can do and it gives you a small overview and where the character is going to be used for. Uh, this one will be kind of just, you look at this and you're like, okay, I know who to rank up here because it tells me rank 11, 6 recommended, rank 12, 3 recommended, rank 11, 4 recommended. You know, it has this all kind of spaced out and you can just kind of branch through and quick read and look through the characters. It's like, okay, I see Christmas Ida is here. So I'm going to put Christmas Ida up to 12, 3. This one obviously is a much kind of more, a little bit more explanation on it. It tells you a little bit of why uh, you want to go for that specific rank. And then Miss Niara has this one here, which is absolutely chaos. And I absolutely love how she does this. Um, and she puts all this stuff and she goes way into detail, giving you the exact numbers and exact reasons why the specific rank will be better so depending on what your taste is if you want to know min maxing and all that stuff um this one by miss niara might be for you so it all really just depends up to you so we're going to take a look at miss niara's kit because i feel like this is probably the best kit to make a video on because of, of just the pure amount of raw kind of details that she puts into her work it's very very well thought out and very awesome to see um all right so this is going to be variable optimal rank i'm going to be only talking about the variable optimal rank because i feel like this is probably the best part um to go over because once you get down i mean it's pretty much rank 11 6 and then after that it's every, most of the characters here um is actually going to be 12 3 so as you can see almost half of the entire game is going to be ranked 12 3 or recommended I, i'd say that that's about what 45 percent if you add up everything else down here so a lot of the characters are going to be ranked 12 3 which is why i like to go over the ones that are kind of variable optimal here uh, which kind of varies on where you want to put them so starting off with the variable optimal rank we have first ruka and sumigi are two tanks for ruka obviously this has been talked about for quite some time if you use her in clan battle you want to have her at rank 8-6 um, for the most part, that's her kind of safe role as a clan battle character. For PvP, you want her at rank 12-3, and for PvE, hard mode, normal mode, Luna Tower, and uh, the story events and all this stuff, you want her at rank 11-6. So wherever you use her, you're going to want to have her at a specific rank. I personally recommend for people to go for rank 8-6 on Ruka, because I don't really see any reason why you want to use Ruka in PvP over Miyako, Kuka, Nozomi, June, or even Pecorine now with her unique equipment. Uh, Ruka just doesn't really feel like she would be useful in PvP as much. For PvE, I guess you can see some use for her, but I feel like she really would shine in clan battle, so I think 8-6 would probably be your best bet for Ruka. Sumigi, we have rank 9-6 versus rank 12-3, and it looks like that they recommend rank 12-3, and rank 9-6 is good for rapid firing union burst and install or specific timings on attacks. That's if you have a specific team or a specific boss that you're going against. 9-6 could be good there, uh, but 12-3 is going to be kind of your recommended build for that. Makoto, of course, rank 9-6 or rank 9-5 no matter left is optimal when taking moderate damage, especially on stage 1-2. Rank 11-6 can be optimal on specific incoming damage thresholds, and rank 12-3 is better if you're taking heavy damage or no damage, and, or for PvE. So, uh, I probably would recommend most people to keep her still at rank 9-6, because 9-6 is where Makoto is going to be used the most. Makoto, you kind of use throughout the entire game. You either use her in PvE, which I people use her in PvE all the time, or you use her in Clan Battle, which Clan Battle is where she's going to be used the most. Um, so, I personally would just recommend 9-6 or 9-5, no left, as going to be your best bet. Christmas INA or Holiday INA, uh, uh, rank 12 3 for three to four stars a lower uh suicide rate basically you have a less chance of dying if you're 12 3 uh, and rank 11 6 is for five stars and you have a higher chance to crit fish uh, and be able to survive longer for tomo we have rank 12 3 or rank 11 6 or rank 11 5 no matter left rank 12 3 is going to be normally superior if she survives and rank 11 6 uh is going to be superior if she dies in rank 12 so you just kind of have to test the waters for that uh, and rank 10 6 was beaten by rank 12 so that's why rank 12 is going to be the new and improved ray for ray obviously is going to be an important one rank 11 6 or rank 11 5 no matter left is better normally and rank 12 3 for pvp 
or for a specific clan battle stage. Rank 11-6 for Christina is better normally, or rank 12-3 is better for PvP or clan battle if you're not taking incoming damage. But I personally would just recommend rank 11-6 because she will be the best there throughout the entire game. Shinobu, we have rank 11-6 or rank 8-6, which is funny. Rank 8 for Shinobu, I feel like is absolutely ridiculous that you still can keep her rank 8. The buffs better without incoming damage, and then rank 11-6 is better with incoming damage. So Shinobu, it all depends there if you're taking damage or if she's out of range of attack and all that stuff. Yukari, rank 11-6 or rank 11-5 with no bottom left. Uh, is better normally and rank 12-3 with her unique equipment at 130 only for unique burst timing uh, obviously she still has to get a unique equipment yet which she is the second batch of unique equipment so it won't be for quite some time um, but when she does get that rank 12 will be her best. Kokoro is going to be ranked 11-6 for main tank duty, or rank 10-2 uh, can catch other timings for tank swapping slash buff. And then for Simmer Kokoro, 12-3 for PvP, rank 10-6 if rank 10-2 heals wrong target slash dies, or for 1-3 to three stars. And for most people, rank 10-2 top left type rot only, which is what I recommend. Uh, which you can catch earlier timings for swapping slash healing. And then Akari is going to be rank 11-6 or rank 11-5, no bottom right. Uh, and then rank 12-3 is specific tank duty. Moving on to the mage slash archer DPSs, we have Ilya and Oi. Ilya is going to be rank 11-6 is more safe, but less possible. And rank 12-3 is more risky, but flexible. So rank 12-3, you have a higher chance of actually critting on yourself from some of his skills and dying. Uh, rank 11-6, you have less of a chance than that. Um, rank 12-3 is more risky, but it's more flexible. So it all depends up to you. Oi is rank 11-6 for survival, and rank 12-3 for stun accuracy. She's pretty solid in some kind of PvP scenarios. You can catch people off guard with a very high start up boy. Uh, Io is going to be rank 11-6 better normally, but rank 12-3 is for if survival or a solo universe is desired. All right, and for New Year's Yui, we have rank 11-6 or rank 11-4, no bottom left and no middle right. Uh, I think rank 11-4, actually no bottom left, no middle right is what you want to aim for. Uh, and rank 12-3 has niche cycles. For Christmas Chica, I'm not going to bother because she's absolutely insane, but if you just don't want to go through it, rank 11-5, no top right will be your best uh, for clan battle. Uh, but, but that just depends on really what you're going for. Anyways, PvP, you always want to max out Christmas Chica. She's such a headache, I'm not even going to bother. Maho, you have rank 11-6 or rank 11-5, no bottom left for faster first universe. Rank 12-3 is normally better. Moving on, we have rank 11-6 or older rank, if noted, is significantly better than rank 12 for now. Rank up bricks the next until next optimal. We have Miyako, Jun, Nozomi, and Chizuru being uh, the tank characters that you want to keep at rank 11-6, so keep that in mind. Vegeta, also, you want to keep her at rank 11-6 because she loses her universe one action later without incoming damage. Halloween Masaki, you do want to keep her at rank 11-6. Um, and then we move on from there. Pretty much rank 11-6 is better than R12 for now, but difference is low. Uh, Lima, Misoji, Akino, Ninan, and Ana. Uh, basically, just really doesn't matter survival is more important so uh and then after that we have rank 12 3 is mostly identical with rank 11 6 difference is nearly relevant so choose as you wish basically upgrade these characters if you have the uh equipment to do so if not then who cares and then these are the ones that you want to optimize uh getting up to 12 3 and that pretty much covers everyone here uh once again here is a visual made by the great raikami uh this one is also really really good um as you can see a lot of the characters most of the characters are going to be wanting to be ranked 12 3 as you can see most most of the tanks are actually going to be in rank 11-6 recommended, which is honestly not really surprising since we only have 12-3. But I'm positive as we get 12-4, 12-5, um, these definitely the tanks will probably be pushed up to rank 12. But we'll see from there. And that pretty much covers this entire rank 12-3 versus rank 11-6 video. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye everyone.